Hi friends. Last class we have discussed lambda cut sheets or alpha cut sheets to convert fuzzy sets fuzzy sets into crisp sets that means maybe the process of defuzzification we are converting fuzzy sets into crisp sets by using lambda cut sets we have already completed this course of lambda cut sets under heading of defuzzification now let us see how exactly this will happen by taking an example now let us discuss the problem on lambda cut sheets so this is the heading of uh, this video so let's go ahead with a problem yeah if there are two fuzzy sets both defined on capital x in the following way yeah these are the definitions of fuzzy sets that means maybe we can write this as mu a of x is equal to 0.1 by x1 plus 0.6 by x2 plus 0.8 by x3 plus 0.9 by x4 plus 0.7 by x5 0.1 by x6 so we can write in this fashion and even for mu b of x is equal to 0.9 by x1 plus 0.7 by x2 plus 0.5 by x3 plus 0.2 by x4 plus 0.1 by x5 plus 0 by x6 so this is the representation of fuzzy sets so there are two fuzzy sets given to us one is a and second one is b simple next what we have to do now now the question will be like this express the lambda cut sets using zs notation for the following sets so let us see which sets they have given a it is a bar of 0.7 that means first as I have we have already discussed how it will be represented so that will be a then we can convert that into fuzzy set into a bar simply by using mu a bar of x is equal to 1 minus mu a of x that means subtracting this value I mean above value from 1 that will be the value for a bar if you get the a bar then we can apply lambda cut as 0 0.7 and we can give we can give the value i mean we can take those points from x1 to x6 which are whose value is equal to 0 0.7 or more than 0 0.7 so that's the concept here next next one is b of 0 0.4 simply it's b application of lambda as 0 0.4 and the next one is a union b of 0.7 first we need to find out what is a union b and then we need to apply 0.7 next a intersection b of 0.6 that means we need to find out a intersection b first and then we need to apply the alpha cut as 0.6 a union a bar of 0.7 that means first we need to find out a union a bar as we have already found a and a bar so we need to find out the union of them and then we need to apply 0 0.7 here next b union b bar of 0.5 so first same thing we know b here we need to find out b bar and then we need to take the union of them then we need to apply 0.5 as the lambda cut or alpha cut next a intersection b whole bar first we need to find out a intersection b and then we need to apply negation of it or bar i mean you can call it as complement of it and then we need to apply 0 0.6 yeah here first we need to take a and we need to apply complement we need to take b we need to apply complement then we need to do union of them and finally we need to apply lambda cut as 0.7 let us see how these things will be done step by step the solution will be like this a bar of 0.7 first this is the representation of a in our daily form here a is equal to 0.1 by x1 
plus 0.6 by x2 plus 0.8 by x3 plus 0.9 by x4 plus 0.7 by x5 plus 0.1 by x6. So these are the values and this is the value given in the problem. Now we need to find out the complement of this. So let us see this is the complement. Complement means simply 1 minus of the previous value. So the previous value at for x1 is 0.1. So this should be subtracted from 1. So the value should be 0.9. Similarly for x2 the value is 0.6. After subtraction from 1 it will be 0.4. For x3 the value is 0.8 and it will go to 0.2 as we are subtracting the 0.8 from 1. Similarly from for x4 the value is 0.9 it will be converted into 0.1. For x5 value is 0.7 it will be converted to 0 0.3. 0 0.1 is converted to 0 0.9 in the case of x6. So these are the values. Now what is 0 0.7? 0 0.7 means it's a lambda cut. So here we need to find out the points whose membership value is equal to 0.7 or more than 0.7. If we see here for x1 it is point name so it is more than 0.7. So in my crisp set x1 should be a member. Similarly x2 the value is less than 0.7 so it should not be a member. For x3 the value is less than 0.7 so it should not be a member. Similarly x4 the value is less than 0.7 so it should not be a member. Coming to x5 the value is again less than 0.7 so it should not be a member of my crisp set. And coming to x6 this value is 0.9 so it should be a member of my crisp set. Now I can frame my crisp set with only two elements one is x1 and x6 all other are less than 0.7 so I won't take those elements. Now how to represent the crisp set a bar of 0.7 like this simply okay this is a crisp set so which which point satisfies your condition and those points will be in our crisp set and other points will not be included in my crisp set so this is the final answer so this is the explanation for one problem and let us move on to other problems yeah b of 0.4 First, represent B. B will be represented like this according to the problem given in the question itself. Next step, we need to find out 0.4 as cut. So, in my crisp set, B of 0.4, x1 will be there, x2 will be there, x3 will be there, even x4 won't be there, x5 won't be there, x6 won't be there. Only three elements are there, x1, x2 and x3. Okay, even x6 is also not there. So this is a mistake. So please note this point. This is a mistake. So only three elements will be there x1, x2 and x3. Not more than that. Okay, let us move on to the next problem. Next problem is A union B of 0.7. So we can clearly see A is, A is in the first problem, A problem and B is in the second problem, B problem. So coming to C problem. A union B, we need to find out A union B of these two. As we know, A union B means the maximum value out of those two. So for x1, the maximum value is 0.9. For x2, the value will be 0.7. For x3, the value will be 0.8. For x4, the value will be 0.9. For x5, the value will be 0.7. For x6, the value is 0.6. Okay, sorry, 0.1. Now let us see these values. Yes, for x1 0.9, x2 0.7, x3 0.8, x4 0.9, x5 0.7, x6 0.1. So this is the fuzzy set of A union B. Now how I need to apply 0.7. Now please apply the 0.7. So x1 will be in my crisp set, x2 will be in my crisp set as the value is equal to 0.7 and x3 will be my crisp set x9 is also x4 is also there x5 is also there except x6 
everything will be in my crisp set. Yeah, x1, x2, x3, x4 and x5. Everything will be in my crisp set except x6 as its value is less than lambda 0.7. Now let's move on to third problem. A intersection B of 0.6. We can witness A and B here and we can easily find out A intersection B which is minimum of A and B. So for x1 the value will be 0.1 for x2 the value will be 0.6 for x3 0.8 and 0.5 the minimum of these two is 0.5 so it will be 0.5 by x3 for x4 0.9 is from a and 0.2 is from b so the minimum is 0.2 and for x5 the 0.7 from a and 0.1 from b so the minimum is 0.1 and similarly for x6 the value is 0 and which is minimum of 0.1 and 0 from a and b respectively and let us see cut here the lambda is 0 0.6 so x1 won't be there x3 won't be there x4 won't be there x5 won't be there even x6 won't be there only x2 will be there let us see yeah this is the answer now let us move on to other problem yeah a union a bar of 0.7 as we know a is already there and this is directly a union a bar has been given here you can also solve this simply so this is the a union a bar and after providing lambda cut 0.7 it will include all values except x2 so x2 value is less than 0.7 let's see b intersection b bar of 0.5 so the b intersection b bar oh okay okay this will this may be b intersection b bar only and b intersection b bar value is like this and you can you can check up it's not a big deal and as you know the b and you can find b bar and this is b intersection b bar only okay this is a mistake so finally b intersection b bar of 0.5 is x3 x5 and x6 all other values are less than 0.5 so they are not included in the crisp set of b intersection b bar of 0.5 next a intersection b whole bar of 0.7 so first find out a intersection b so this is a intersection b the minimum of a and b and then apply 0.7 so which value is more than 0.7 here no value is more than 0.7 yeah but here we need to see the complement of this fuzzy set so the complement will be like this 0.9 means 1 minus all values so this is the complement and then now identify which value is more than 0.7 x1 is there, x4 is there, x5 is there and x6 is also there. So those are the values constituted for Chris set of A intersection B whole bar of 0.7. So this is the value. This is the Chris set. Next, the next one is A bar union B bar of 0.7. So first find out A bar and then find out b bar and then again find out a bar union b bar and these are the values so we can easily identify the value will be same as a intersection b whole bar of 0.7 okay so these are the explanation for lambda cut sets by taking one example very simple thing and so if you have any doubts in this please write on the comment box so that I am ready to explain you better than this. Thank you for having 1170 plus subscriptions and if you like this video please like it. If you want to share this video please share with your friends and family. If you haven't subscribed till date kindly subscribe to my youtube channel and please press the bell button so that you will get the upcoming notifications and I committed some mistakes in this video please post in the comment box thank you thank you very much